issue of the meter gauge railway, there is an allocation of 98 billion. And uh, they are already setting up uh, the structures for the construction of the concrete sleepers. The committee will continue to press on this and ensure that uh, they deliver on the money that is allocated to them. Now, the issue of the SGS, I'm glad members are in agreement with the committee that we need to offset the balance. Honorable Chair, there is a need for us to offset this balance so that uh, the issue is put to rest. To avoid litigation by the SGS against government. The Honorable Mapenduzi raised the issue of uh, Karuma. We had an interface with Yundra. They told us that uh, a feasibility study had already been completed by the Japanese International Cooperation Agency, and they're just only waiting to have the funding, the external funding allocated for this particular project. So the issue of Karuma will be handled by JICA. There is also a promise to have this Marshall Plan of Karuma presented to the, com to the committee. Uh, he also raised the issue of municipalities being given the kind of funding, I mean, the municipalities that have since been elevated to city status. Now, these are issues that we incessantly raise to the Ministry of Work, we raise with the UNRWA, and Honorable Chair, we can pledge here that we shall continue having that conversation. It's a take home issue that we shall take from this committee. The same with the duplication of some of these issues, we shall continue raising them. Um, the issue of the meter gauge railway raised by the Honorable Mara, I think I've touched on that. Uh, the issue of the regional workshops, like you could have heard in our recommendation, Honorable Chair, we are all voting for strengthening regional workshops. That's why we have made recommendations for additional funding in respect to this. Kampala Jinja Busia Highway. We had an interface with uh, the UNRWA, and they told us that negotiations were already in advanced stages. And this, they plan to have it the public-private partnership. So this is another area that uh, we shall continue impressing it upon them to ensure that they furnish us with the progress that we might in turn, that we, that we in turn update the committee on budget on. Of course, the status of the standard gauge railway, there is a, this was Katesh, the same, with 2.2 trillion under the UK exports financing. It's going to be an external consortium of funders to handle this. The Uganda Airlines, which was raised by the Honorable Katesh, you realize this is the elephant in the room here for us. Streamlining the operations, supervision of the capital investment, Honorable Chair, this will be on the radar of the committee as we continue to engage the Uganda Airlines. The unit costs of road construction, the committee extensively interacted with the uh, Minister of Works, Junra, and even Kampala Capital City. There's a variation. In some instance, they will tell you, of course that depends on the nature of the road. In some instance, they put the figure to 3.5. There was another instance where they put it to 5.0. But there was one where they put the figure to 7.9 billion per kilometer taking into account the road furniture and most especially at road junctions and work and compensation. So, but, but there is a promise by the Ministry of Works and Transport that they are doing a study to ensure that they come up with an harmonized uh, unit cost of, of, I mean, the cost for, un, for, for unit road construction. The Ginger Expressway has been raised here. 
the issue of land information system that was raised by the Honorable Nambesh, he proposes that there should be one uniform e-information center. And he suggests that we should avoid duplication. But we can say that there is already a system in place that only needs to be maintained. That only needs to be maintained. Of course, the issues of the roots of, uh, of the legs not being marked has been raised here. The issue of the customary land owners ownership. Well, there is a...